What's good everyone? Smiling Grove here playing Project Cars 3. Let's see if this game is as good as everyone says, or as bad as everyone says. Here's the intro. Alright, so first off, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro, but uh, based on that intro, I can tell that this game is not going to play or be anything like Project Cars of the past. Um, it looks much more like a Simcade, and I don't even know if it's going to have any Sim aspect in it uh, at all, to be quite honest. It looks much more like an arcade racer. Maybe not as much as like Need for Speed, but certainly not what Project Cars was in the past. So here we go. This is the uh, setups that you can pick for your characters or your character. Honestly, I think they all look kind of lame. I think the first one was the best. It looks like a you know fairly traditional uh, racing suit. Yeah. So we're definitely going to go with that. Okay, so you can change the color of your suit. I actually happen to like red, so I'll probably go with uh, number one. And yes, that's what I do. And, you know, here you go. Here's the helmet. So it looked like there was uh, one through ten. So you have ten options. You know, choose wisely. All right, so there's my character for the Time game. To pick the handling assists you want. If you're unsure what's best for you, err on the side of caution by selecting either beginner or novice. If you know your traction control from your stability control, then you might want to check out the custom setup options. All right, so the setup in the game, you have beginner, novice, experienced, professional, and custom. Whatever your play level is, I'm just going to go to custom. I'm going to turn off all the assists. I want to see what the game actually feels like. I don't want to have any help from the game. That it was probably what professional was, but I just whatever. Just go to custom and select what you want. Don't let the game select it. era of motorsports has arrived. Taking what you love about racing to a whole new level. Intense action, thrilling overtakes, and exciting. Another trailer. The okay. Not the exception. This one at least explains a little bit about the game. This racing a new breed of driver, and this is where you come in. We need bravery, determination, and willingness to take the risk. I'm only watching the trailer win. right now, but I don't think the game looks so that let's good. Get you out on the track and see what Quite you frankly, can do. it looks okay. I'm not thrilled. Oh, okay. So the loading screen finally has something on it. And it's telling me about the controls on a controller when I'm using a wheel. So maybe it's going to pull up a wheel at some point. Yeah. 
incredibly long loading screen, still no wheel. Maybe they intended this not to be played on a wheel. Maybe that is why the controller is only here because they just are like, this game sucks. Don't play it on a steering wheel. Play it with a controller. Yeah, maybe. Here we go, first race. Oh my gosh, he's got spidering effect in the windshield. Pretty awful. These cars do not look that good. The detail is not there. They almost look pixelated. So it's like bumper cars. And these track markers, they're not even track markers. They're just, I mean, they serve a purpose. Don't get me wrong. They do serve a purpose. They're telling you like, hey, here's the apex, here's a braking zone, yada, yada. But they're floating you know, objects in the air. They're not real track markers. You, you're not gonna have like a part in the track where it's like 100 meter board or, you know, uh, use this, the end of the berm or something like that. There's just floating things in the air. Oh my gosh, this game. The, right off the bat, this is not Project Cars. Not by any means. All that malarkey that she was talking about a new world of racing and, uh, you know, this is going to be a great racing experience. Yeah. Horse poo. It's not. It's not awful? Okay. Well, it's not awful. And I have to say that in that way because... This is not my kind of racing game. Um, if anyone compares it to Grid, I suppose you could compare it a little bit to Grid. But I think it's doing Grid a great disservice because I actually enjoyed Grid. And I'm not really enjoying this. I'm going to play it. I'm going to see if I begin to enjoy it. But so far, not really. Yeah, look at the quality of the cars look it looks like the windows are all cracked what is that like who was like oh that's a great great design element let's look like the windows been smashed this is this is awful all right let's see how this loading screen goes So long loading screens. If you get this game, not only will you have Welcome horrible gameplay, show. you'll have the long loading screens. By the car of your dreams. You've got some credits in the bank. Let's see what we can afford. All right, so starting up the game, we're going to have a choice of three vehicles. A 2013 Toyota GT86. Not a bad car in real life, fun car. A 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer. Why do we have a 1999 car in a new game? A 2016 Honda Civic Type R. Well, let's see uh, if the traction model works in this game. I'm gonna go with the all wheel drive car. And I think the Lancer looks the best, to be honest. This is your garage. Here you can upgrade and customize your collection of cars. So let's personalize your new car to make it stand out on the track. Okay, so it looks like they definitely put a little bit of emphasis on customization. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. So six open livery options. I think I'm gonna go with number two. I like the white and black with the black wheels. It looks good. All right, I'm gonna quickly do this and put my Grove plate on as I always do, but I didn't wanna make you guys watch me go through all of the letters and numbers. A lot of license plate options. So if you like to customize your car, like old Need for Speed, like Need for Speed Underground 2 and that kind of craziness, this might be a game for you because it appears that is what you can do in this game. You can customize everything. The license plate, the, the livery, uh, I'm sure, yep, the rims, the tires. It. So it's, it's a highly customizable game. World. You'll be up against some of the best racing talent there is. So you'll need to and another trailer. Results matter and mistakes will be costly. I wonder if there's even any content in this game. So far we've had three trailers and we just started the game. Step of the way. Get out there and prove yourself. The career will take you on a journey through ten unique race series. To progress, you'll need to either upgrade your current car or buy new cars to meet the various entry requirements. All right, so it looks like there's different uh, race classes. Road E, Road D, Road C. Whatever the heck those are. Each series has four tours that climax with a championship event. To unlock championships and new tours, complete the career objectives in the individual events. All right, so it looks like we're going to Shanghai for the first race. This is going to be your first career race with your own wheels. It's for real now. So take a quick look at the event details and objectives. Then hit race to dive into the action. This game looks like a mobile game. People have said it. I've watched other reviewers say that it looks like a mobile game. It looks like a mobile game. Honestly, I'm almost doing a disservice to mobile games at this point. I mean, CSR 2, one of my favorite mobile games looks a thousand times better than this game and it's using an apple processing chip compared to a you know a legitimate graphics card and another long loading screen at least this one is not blank at least there's a you know a picture of shanghai where we're going All right, so you don't even get a chance to qualify. You just wind up somewhere in the in the grid. Uh, so we're ninth. So we'll see if we can battle from there. I don't predict this game being very difficult. So let's just max it all out and see where we go. See what happens. Oh, and that gets us the highest XP too, so... That's good. Um, we can level up in this game quicker so we can get done with it and never play it again. Okay, your first career race. Let's get it off to a good start. And we're off in Shanghai. indicator in my dashboard telling me that there's cars around kind of annoying wow fighting oversteer that entire time in an all-wheel drive Mitsubishi Lancer so the handling model in this game pretty awful I almost feel bad now because I don't feel like I've said anything positive about this game so far.
Like, that is so unrealistic. That is... I mean, I get it that this is clearly not a sim. This is a, a much more arcade-type racing game. But the arrows in the dashboard... Saved it. Well, that's good. Well, I could look into my mirrors if they weren't, you know, looked like they were covered in spider webs. That would actually be helpful. You know, using something in a car that you would normally use. But apparently, the designers for this game couldn't figure out that cobwebs is not a good look. Seriously. Why am I fighting so much oversteer? Okay, granted, I didn't go and tune the car, but the car should not be this bad. I feel like I'm playing a less enjoyable version of Need for Speed. I mean, if I'm honest. Need for Speed on a wheel is very weird. But it's actually fun. This game is very weird but not fun. There's a little bit of texturing I just felt come through the wheel when I went over that curb. Man, I wanted to play this game and be like, okay, it's not Project Cars of old. I get it. It's some new direction. If the new direction was driving a car off a cliff and watching it burst on fire, we've succeeded. But whatever the heck this is, I am at a loss for words. Please don't compare this game to Grid. Because Grid is actually fun. And if you guys want to see some more Grid content, be sure to leave a comment below. Because... I'll definitely do that for you. I have no idea what I did in editing there, but I guess I finished that race and I didn't complete all the objectives. So I'm going to do it again and hopefully complete all the objectives. Hopefully get my driving a little bit more dialed in. Oh, wow. My rear view mirror. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding, everyone. I was going to say that my rear view mirror actually looked clear. But it looked clear for about five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, this game is, is not... It, if you are an extremely casual racer, if you just want to throw a game in on a Saturday evening, or whatever... Thursday evening because you're out on Saturday like a, a normal human although with COVID you might not be out regardless if you just want to throw a game in and you know play pretend race car driver and have no feel whatsoever get this game you will be very satisfied at how not real it is however if you like to play games like Assetto Corsa F1 Gran Turismo don't get this game I specifically got this game because I kept seeing so many posts from video game uh, sites that said it's a great game it's it's a fantastic driving experience 
and all of this hype. Well, let me tell you, the hype train died because this game is awful. I, I don't. I I wish I could come up with something other than that to say, but it's really bad, guys. I've gotten my my driving a little bit more dialed in. I still didn't play with the tuning at all. I just kind of went with it however the game set up the car. And I'm driving slightly better, and so it's making it a little bit more enjoyable. But it really is not a good racing game. I can't even say that it's really a good game. The graphics are not that good. The sounds are not that good. The tracks are... I mean, I've only done two tracks, but the tracks aren't even that good. The detail is not that good. It's just not that good. Maybe if I continue to play it, if I build my car, maybe it will become a more enjoyable experience but it's not there it's not there right now and if you want me to play it more please be sure to comment and um, like and subscribe to the channel for more racing content but like look at that did you just see that it, it literally looked like the car was on like rockers and I was I mean I wasn't even driving at that point so that was just a in-game footage it looks like second place is is right where I like to be in this game now second place is where we are because you inevitably get to the final corner and something goes wrong and you wind up in second place My goodness. Ugh. Kind of disgusted I spent money on this game. <laughs> if I'm honest. Alright, well. Hey, we're back in the garage. There's our Mitsubishi Lancer. There's a first time review of Project Cars 3. I'll keep playing it. I'll give it another another chance soon. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay smiling.